Getting answers. TV6 investigates. First at six, nursing home care for some of the most vulnerable Quad Cities residents. As we've learned this week, sometimes they're not providing the care people count on. Good evening, I'm Morgan OTA. And I'm Redrick Terry. Our TV6 investigation has found more than a quarter of Quad Cities nursing homes getting one star, the lowest rating from the federal government. TV6 investigates Matt Christensen is wrapping up this story tonight with some advice on what you can do to make sure you're getting the best care for your loved ones, Matt. Yeah, that's right, Redrick. The Quad Cities is home to top-notch nursing homes, no doubt about it. But some care facilities are racking up major fines for neglect. So how do you sort through it all? Rhonda Halterman runs LiveWell, a business that helps families navigate the complicated senior care system. Now, above all, she recommends touring a home before becoming a patient. Um, how does it feel? How does it smell? You know, do they see people um, being paid attention to? Things like that. Uh, just being aware. Now there's some handy tools that anyone can use. Medicare.gov was a major resource in our reporting. It ranks homes based on inspection reports, staffing levels, and quality of life. Nursing homes too should be able to share their latest inspection reports. So I mean those are important things to ask for and, and they're supposed to be transparent and they are with what their inspections say. So we encourage people to do that. In the end, investigators and senior care advocates say families should stay engaged, tour facility, watch for red flags, and do your homework. Good advice, Matt. Thank you. Of course, you can find the government rankings and other resources to help on our news app and website.